Suburbia feels like a chalk sketch, a shoreline waiting to be blurred, a mess of misaligned hopscotch boxes, blocks of slanted roofs numbered, wiry yellowing gums stuck like weeds in between squares of pavement. It's the world, but potted, dutifully contained. Nature abounds in the green blushes of Earth's complexion, but only if plastic sheathed, encompassed on concrete altars. It's the green leaves of the fiddle fig tree, held out, open arms reaching, but tucked in a corner, hushed, while we fix our eyes on civilization's pulse, tarred navy threads convulsing thirstily on the wrists of progress. The smiles and waves and have a great days feel like this pocketed green, isolated and propagated, picked, pinched and plucked. It's grafted onto concrete pillars and commanded, grow. Suburbia is like an artist's impression of community. It's curated and tame. It's belonging placed behind street names, slapped on signs that point incessantly at themselves. It is a chalk sketch in thin traditional white, fine lines on the faces of those with arms crossed pointing at the inch plant who dares to wander but an inch across a grainy border it does not recognize. The rain, the rain could wash it all away. And if you listen in the quiet post storm, you'll hear it. The patient gums, the fiddle fig and the inch plant remain. The white tears of suburbia dribble into the drains. Thank you. My second and final poem for today is called On a Spree. A ginger kick to the nuts, already in your basket. You'll need the good fats to fight the fat back that traps your liver, strangles your throat with triple chins. Consistency is key, so snatch up your seeds and get roped up into whole grains, right now. Home, made only from the ingredients you already have. Just farmers markets and family secrets, no chemical courses, hormone blockers and chronic interrupters. Blitz your system until it spits up. Blood carries long toxins and dumps them. They're slapped on the backpack of your packaging. Those acids, sulfites and oxides compound. It's torture to watch you. They hold your body hostage with plastic packaging, with synthetics. The excitement you use them with is unnatural, concerning. Nothing more disturbing than a willing victim. Get away while you can. You're being robbed at supermarkets with their less than fresh, highly processed fruit and veg that's pumped with the killers of people's pests. It disgusts me. Hat on and hands dirty. Don't come back inside without dirt to scrape from under your fingernails. You'll need a green thumb if you want to be free from the consumerist restraints. It's the bee's knees to be on your knees begging for more moments in your garden. Before you know it, you won't have the time left. Run as fast as you can on that treadmill, but you'll need more than cardio to beat your natural state. Natural is good, just not in this case. Lock yourself into a contract, make yourself accountable for every drop of sweat. You'll never make it to 100 years at this rate if you can't flip the dips in your hips, shift and strip back the skin that hangs weak at your ankles, thighs, arms, waist, cheeks, eyes. That's just poor circulation. Gua sha, night cream tightening, every night spelt hacking away at low self-esteeming, choked pores and faces masked. Broken into a good routine, you'll tie up nicely. Where have you been hiding your smile? Denial's the first step after SVF, so don't leave without protection. How else will you remember to live a long and happy life? Remember, you only have limited chances to escape. Your bad habits, your unhealthy ways, your chemical consumption, this fragile existence. How exciting to think you could be next. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>